Hey guys, how are you? I'm Noah from Tata Soul and today I want to show you how I stitch the letter embroidery. Um, it's good for both kits. I have um, two colors for this kit, but I'm gonna show you how I stitch the letter A. All the letters have the same element, so don't worry about that. So, first I'm gonna adjust the hoop. You can open, um, open the screw a little bit and then separate the rings. Then take your inner hoop, the smaller one, and put it beneath your fabric. Then take the outer hoop, it's the bigger one with the screw on it, and place it on top of it. Use your hands to place it all the way so the hoops really lie um, on top of each other. And now what I like to do is to flip it over and then give it a good stretch. Go all over the fabric and stretch it a little bit out so the fabric is really stretched out and ready to be stitched on. I'm going to start with one of the leaves. I'm not going to do um, a color uh, guide now because you can find it in my patterns and in my kits. So I'm just gonna show you uh, one element of each and I'm starting with the leaf. I'm gonna take my thread and you can also see now how I thread the needle. From one side you just leave it like that. You just thread the needle and don't do much more. And at the other end make a small knot to stop it from pulling away while you stitch. So this leaf is called fishbone leaf. And we're gonna start by stitching a long line across your leaf from top to bottom. And um, here I figured why don't I just do only half of the leaf, but later I changed my mind and you should <laughs> do it from top to bottom, but I didn't uh, film it again, so there you have it. Then bring your needle up from the right side of the top line. You just did, go across over the line, like to the left and pull back down. Your end point should be about the middle of the leaf. Okay, now you see me keep doing it. I did this tutorial a lot slower than the rest of my tutorials because you guys asked for it. Um, so you can see me doing it over and over again. I just go from right to left and then from left to right. So now start again from the left side, go across and pull down from the right side. Continue going like this until you reach the end of the shape. Um, if you have any blank spaces when you get to the end, I will say it again um, soon, but when you go all the way and you have some blank spaces, fill them up with satin stitch. If you don't know how to do a satin stitch, I have a specific video for that and the link is in the description box. Now when you reach the end of uh, your thread, but you're still stitching the same shape, what you do is just stop what you're doing, you will continue the shape soon enough, and you need to um, do a little knot, or there's another way um, to end the stitch, I will show it um, in the next shape. Um, so you can do just one knot or maybe two knots, and then cut the rest of the thread and take a new thread, thread your needle and keep going.
now you can see I almost finished the leaf but I have like a blank space and I can keep going across so I just fill it with satin stitch which really just mean to fill the shape from right to left until the shape is all done and here you can see me do the other way of um, ending a knot I did a few stitches on the back side of the hoop like I stitched the thread to um, the other side of the shape and then I cut it Now I'm going to show you how to stitch the flower. There's also daisy flower and little flowers, um, but this in the instructions you will see it as flowers. <laughs> um, so what I like to do is to use satin stitch for both the petals and the center of the flower. I like to start with the center of the flower always and stitch my way out, let's say. So what I like to do is to divide the petals, um, well not just the petals, you can also see me doing it now for the center of the flower. I like to divide it to stitches and, um, I'm sorry, to sections and I do that um, in order to keep um, the direction of the thread of my stitching like I want it because sometimes you start stitching and you can see it now. Um, the outer line of the center is bigger than the, um, uh, the line that close to the outline of the A, of the, of the letter itself. So you can't really stitch from one side to another directly. You need to give it a little angle and to keep the angles um, beautiful and natural and give it a more like a naturally flower look, I think. Um, stitching it in section really helps and you can see it uh, soon when I stitch the petals and I will talk about it more then. So now you can see me stitching the petals and as I mentioned, I like to do sections. So when I stitch each section, I start with a stitch in the middle and then keep filling the shape with satin stitch. Now you can see me dividing the shape, like this is going to be my section and now I'm adding a stitch in the middle. And now I will start filling the shape. I Here I'm doing another middle, another middle for the sections I created, but like I did two sections in this section, but the idea is to just um, divide the directions you want to stitch because when I'm stitching this half of the petal, I'm going more from like left to right and when I'm stitching the right side of this petal I'm going from right to left and I'm not going to the middle like I'm not going across from top to bottom I'm, I'm always giving it a little bit of an angle By the way, I thought about it and I decided to keep all the times my thread was um, knotting him itself and the times my um, thread just went out of the needle because this thing will happen and it's totally okay, it doesn't mean you're not professional or anything, um, it's totally fine and feel very relaxed while you stitch, you can feel very... Um, you're not gonna mess it up. <laughs> it's uh, embroidery, it's pretty easy. I know it takes time to really acquire the techniques, 
but in this design the stitches are really easy and fit for beginners so take your time thread your needle again if you need open the knot if you need and just enjoy the process Now we're doing the daisy flower. Here I used French knots to fill the center of the flower, but if it's too hard for you and you want to do something more easy or more quick, I think you can also do satin stitch like we did for the last flower. But if you're ready to do French knots, I will give you a short explanation and for a full video about it, you can check out the link in my description box. So this is a cute little dot we use for um, mostly decoration and small flowers. You bring your needle up and while you keep tension of the thread with your left hand, if you're right-handed, wind the thread around the needle at least twice while continue the tension of the thread to prevent it from unravel. Now bring your needle back down very close to the exit point. I'll explain again, you bring your needle up and while you keep tension, wind the thread around the needle at least twice and then bring your needle back down very close to the exit point. Now we're going to stitch the petals and in order to make a pointed end to each one I start with a small vertical stitch from top to the base of the petal and then I fill the shape with satin stitch. Embroider over the first stitch as you go but leave the edge exposed so the leaf will look like it has a pointed end. Satin stitch is a really basic stitch for beginners what you do is to bring your needle up from one side of the shape outline and then bring your needle back down from the other side of the outline. We also did it uh, in the last flower. It's the same stitch but we use it a little bit different here because we also add the stitch in the middle. I'm going to fast forward a little bit because I want you to see how I do it in close up. So now you can see me do it slowly. I um, bring the needle up from the top and go back down to the other side of the fabric from the base of the um, uh, shape. And now I will just start satin stitching everything, the whole shape. And as you can see, I leave a little bit of the first stitch showing. So it will look like it has a pointed end. And now I will just go from right to left and fill the whole shape.
Now we're adding the little branches. So begin with a simple backstitch for the top of the branch. Then we're adding the leaves using satin stitch. You will only need to use like two to four stitches per leaf because it's very small. I actually use three in each one. I did the first one in the middle and then I added one more in each side. So three stitches per leaf. Now add a few back stitches to the bottom of the branch. Uh, I use uh, two or three for each one, depends of how long it is. If you don't know what back stitch is, I also added uh, a link to a specific video about it. Now I also wanted to show you how I do um, the leaves that are close to the outline of the letter. I uh, did the same thing, uh, three stitches per leaf but I started from the one that is closer to the outline and not the one in the middle just because I wanted them to all be in the same line so the outline of the letter will remain straight Well, this is the last element of this embroidery, so I wanted you to see um, the whole letter stitch up because it's really beautiful. And we're going to do the little flowers. For the stock, I used backstitch in really small spaces so you can easily embroider the curves. And I also did it with four strands of thread. Um, you just need to split your thread. I have a specific video about it. It's not that hard, you just pull them out of the thread. Most threads have six strands, so I um, took out two and ended up with four, so it will be thinner. So what I'm doing here is a back stitch. I um, space the needle out the length of my desired stitch, which is very small here, pull up through the fabric and bring the needle back down through the end of my last stitch. And I will also do it to uh, the other branch. Go as close as you can to um, the outline of the shape so it will look like it emerges <laughs> from um, between the leaves and not like disconnected from them. So now we are ready to add the small flowers. I used French knots here, just like we did the middle of the um, uh, daisy flowers. And I also used four strands to my thread, like I did with the back stitch, because I wanted it to have a more delicate, tiny flowers. So when you're done with your embroidery, there are a few ways to cover the back of the hoop and I have a specific video about it when I show you like more uh, serious ways to do it, more um, beautiful ways, very clean and tidy. But here I'm just going to do the lazy method and just tape everything behind. So you can also do that and you can check out all my videos um, on the links I added in the description box. And thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to order this embroidery kit or a different one, you can visit my shop and my website. And welcome to embroidery, guys, if you're new here. And if you have any questions, I would love to help out. You can contact me in Instagram or here on the comments or in my website. I would love um, to talk with you. So thank you. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.